good morning everybody welcome back to another video sorry i have been in my a but had uh a few things going on but um i'm back and um i am actually running some errands right now it is probably like eight o'clock in the morning Let me make sure i get this camera set right okay it's probably like eight o'clock in the morning and I need to go, uh, I need to, or oh, well, I'm on my way to, um, uh, Bedford Park and Burbank, um, because I need to get, y'all, this is just bad. Hold on, guys. Okay, y'all, I had to work like this. This camera angle is really bad. I'm going to have to get a um a car mount because I, I can't it's like it's not sad. But anyway um yeah I am um going I have to go back to Burbank to the home to the home depot in Burbank Okay, this might work. Um, as I was saying, I'm going to the Home Depot in Burbank. Um, I have actually a couple of Home Depots in my area, but I need to get spray paint and I live in the city, so I can't buy spray paint in the city. Uh, I was actually out there a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weekends ago, me and my husband, and I told him, I knew that I needed um, the clear coat spray paint so I'm like no you don't think you need it but couldn't find out I actually do and I knew I should have got it anyway um but anyway um I need to do that I need to do um uh some color matching I want to redo my downstairs bathroom and the paint that I want I can only get it from Sherwin Williams but I want to get a sample and Sherman Williams everywhere. It's not just here in the city, but everywhere they don't have uh, uh, paint samples. So I'm going to go where I'm at Home Depot and see if they can color match what I want. And hopefully I can get a sample then instead of buying a whole quart. Um, and I also need to I'm looking for some flooring I know Century Tile is going out of business so I may stop by Century Tile and um, I need to get some hardware for the cabinets and a new uh, sink faucet so I'm gonna do all that when I'm out here. So what I did, I uh, I uh, kind of looked on Amazon to kind of kind of get an idea of what I want, and then I printed it out. So I'm going to um, kind of um, what am I trying to say? Compare prices while I'm out here. There's also a Goodwill out here. I'm not sure if it's on like 81st or if it's in Burbank. But Burbank is like down the street, but I'm not sure. Because I want to find some um, some end tables that I can um, kind of fix up myself. And then I want to see if I can find some, some living room lamps too. So that that's what I'm on right now. And I like so I'm on my way out here now. <clears throat> it's like eight something in the morning. I wanted to get out here a little earlier, but I know a lot of the things out here don't open till like nine or ten o'clock. So I can kind of linger around in uh in Home Depot. So that'll give me some time. 
and my plan was this morning I was going to get up and um, redo the patio chair the, the patio chairs and table so last year we were looking for uh, some tables and chairs to sit outside to kind of match with the couches and stuff that we got out there and I couldn't really find what I wanted at a reasonable price. Well, I didn't say that the stuff that I wanted, they were more expensive that I was willing to pay for because it didn't look that good to me, you know, to be paying the price that they wanted. So my husband actually found um, two nice metal chairs and uh, a table. Um, I think at, at his school that he works at. And he brought those home. So I'm going to, that's what I need the spray paint for. I actually got the spray paint that I wanted, but I just need to get the, the clear seal. So I was going to get up and do that this morning, clean it up and everything, but it's kind of windy out. So I might just get up early and do that tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that's that so i'm gonna go ahead on and uh, i will get back to you guys once i get into the store and take you guys along with me i'll talk to you in a few no that's it okay, you can okay guys so i'm in white castle line getting me something to eat my uh yeah this is horrible my um trip to home depot was somewhat successful um So guys, um, I realized I never came back yesterday and um, ended the video. So I'm just going to continue on. So my, what I'm going to do today is uh, the chairs and the table. Let me show you what they look like. <clears throat> so all this rust and everything. The chairs are really in good condition. They're not wobbly or anything. There's the table. It's just a little plastic table. Um, got a lot of scratches on them, but we're going to see what we can do about that. And then here's the other chair. So let's see if I can sand this down. Hope we got some sandpaper. So this is the before. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe down this table really good. So, I just have some regular uh, soap and water here. I hope you guys can hear me. And I have my wet, wet towel. I have two wet towels and a dry towel. So, I'm going to get up all this... Uh, extra dirt that's on here so the paint can stick pretty well then this table the legs actually come off so i'm going to take the legs off of here too and this y'all this table got a lot going on with it and as you can see i'm out here in the garage um, I have both doors open. I do have me a mask and uh, some gloves. So I got the doors open for the ventilation. 
You got a nice little breeze coming through. It's not real windy like it was yesterday. So I'm just gonna clean this up as best I can. actually comes up. I wish I had a magic eraser. Okay, well, let me see if I can. I need another chair. Let me put this water bowl on. So guys, I'm going to clean this table up. Up with what it actually looks like now. So I'm going to take it and um, go rinse all the cleaning product off of it. I, I use some um, Ajax some Dawn dish liquid and um, just some hot water and kind of scrub it. So it looks like you use a little more scrubbing right up in here. Um, but I'm going to see what it looks like once I take it. I'm going to take the legs off and go upstairs and rinse it off and see if I get a little more light. So this is the table. And then once I do that and let it dry, then I'll see how it looks and then I'll come back. Okay, as you can see that the table came out uh, pretty good after I cleaned it up. Um, like I said, I'm not going to worry about the scratches because it's just a plastic table. So I just rinsed all the soap and everything off. And it's going to sit here and dry. And once it dried, then I get started painting. So right now I'm going to clean these legs and get started on the legs. So guys, here are the legs here. So I'm gonna wipe these down really good and uh, get started on these. I just have some uh, some clean water here. I didn't put any soap in there. So I'm gonna get started on these, let these dry. Okay guys, so I have um, some sandpaper here. I think this is an 80 grit. I'm not sure if that's how you read it or not. So I'm going to see if this is going to work.
<sighs> okay, so now that that's all done, um, I'm going to wipe the chairs down. Uh, I'm going to wipe the, wipe the chairs down one more time once they dry to make sure that I get all the extra dust off of it. Um, and while that's drying, I'm going to turn this plastic over because it's full of dust. And then I'm going to start uh, painting the table. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So what I'm about to do now, I re-wipe re off the... Um, chairs i got some fresh water and we wipe the chairs um i dusted the the uh, plastic off and i'm gonna try to sweep up most of this excess dust that's on here okay i'm gonna set you guys up somewhere where you can see Okay, so I had to re-wipe the table down because it still had a little uh, soap on it. So, I just re-wiped it and it just fell, so I got to wipe it again. Um, so, I'm going to let that dry up again. So, I'm going to start on the legs, I guess. I'm going to wipe this off again because it just fell. So I'm going to start on these legs and then I'll set you guys up so you can see.
So I'm about to start um, <clears throat> on the chairs now. I just did the other side of the table legs. And uh, so those are drying now. I have the table sitting somewhere else to dry because I'm going to use this area here. So I'm going to get started on the, uh, on the chairs. And let me get you set up. Okay, so now the chairs, I'm going to actually paint the whole chair, not just the legs. this um but this is what the chair is looking like so far this is only the um as you said i got it upside down so it's only the uh upside down in the bottom part so see i sprayed the whole chair the fabric and all uh oh about to kill myself okay so the fabric i'm not going to do another coat because i'm going to do the inside of it once this dries and then once everything dries probably late on today or tomorrow i'll come out and put some sealing on it how you doing so this is what it looks like so far so i'm gonna let this dry and uh Come back and turn it over and do the other side actually you know what? i'm gonna set this down and um do the other side do the other chair all right guys so <clears throat> this is the chair that i just finished um it's drying this is coat number one so i did the front the back the whole chair and this is what it looks like and I think it came out darn good. Looks like almost like a new chair. Now, right here, remember I told you about if you put too much in one area, you get drips. So this is it right here. And then there's another one right here. Right there. Um, I thought I saw another one on here. Um but I don't know where it is. But this is what the chair looks like now from what uh it was before so i'm going to let this finish drying and then i'm going to uh finish off the other chair which is over here i did the back of this chair already and the legs i just need to do the um inside of the chair so this is pretty much dry I just need this one over here to dry so I can turn it over and finish this one here. So while it's drying, I do see some areas here that I need to touch up. So I'm going to do that right now while it's flipped over. All right. Okay, and so everything is finished. I have uh, put the two coats on there, the three coats and put the ceiling on it. What you see now is the ceiling is drying. Those are the legs. Here is the table still drying. And then the chairs. Okay, that's one chair. Here's the other chair. And watch out, Blue, it's wet. Move back. And uh, so I'm going to let these sit out here for the rest of the day and dry completely. 
before I put the cushions on them and um, put them back on the porch. So they'll sit out here for the rest of the day and dry completely. And then I'm gonna go in and relax. This is the finished product. So like I said, once they finish drying, I probably won't do it till tomorrow. But um, it, I think it came out pretty good from where it started. And then the tape, you can't really see um, the scratches like you were able to see before. So yeah, I think it came out really good. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, I will talk to you guys in the next video oh by the way if you like these type of videos be sure to comment and subscribe comment down below how do you think the tables and chairs came out and um give it a big old thumbs up share the video like the video and i will talk to you guys next time bye Okay guys, so I am done with the chairs and the table. So uh, I'm going to insert a clip here. Let me know down in the comments what do you think. Uh, me personally, I think it came out pretty good you know, compared to what it looked like before. Um, the only issue I have is I did want a darker color, uh, like a darker brown, because I wanted it to uh, pretty much match the sofas that's on the, on the deck. But uh, it didn't come out as dark as I would like it. Um, I think that's the only issue that I have. So let me know in the comments what you guys think down below, um, how they came out. Um, have you tried to do your patio update before without spending a lot of money? Um, I think I've used, I used five cans of um, the spray paint on the table and chair. Like so I put like maybe two or three coats on it. And then I put two coats of the uh, clear sealant on it. So we're going to see how that works. Um, also, stay tuned for my bathroom renovation. Um, the bathroom here, I'm going to be redoing. Um, I got a splotch of, uh, swatch of paint on the wall of the repost gray. I don't know if you can really see it from here. Um, Actually, that's it's supposed to be repose gray, but I got a color matching from Home Depot. But I'm going to go to Sherwin Williams and get the actual repose gray. I'm just trying to get a sample to actually see what it looked like. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. That's coming soon. I'm expecting some um, items to come in this week uh, for the bathroom and for the living room. So hopefully, when everything else comes in. I'm going to get started on that probably next weekend, I guess. Um, so, of course, I'm going to take you guys along with me. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. Uh, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.